the tuba because my dad played the tuba way back in the day and yeah he just introduced me to it and I've loved it ever since. Joe, will you please show us your tuba? Sure. Here it is. Wow, it's huge. I could live in that thing. If I climbed into the bell, could you shoot me out of it like a cannon? You could, but that's not the best idea. No, I guess not. Would you please tell us a little about the tuba? Sure. Well, the tuba was patented all the way back in 1835. But compared to some instruments in the orchestra, it's actually rather new. It's a newer instrument? But that's almost 200 years old! It's older than my grandma! It is old, but compared to the violin, it's a new instrument. Oh, so that's why it's so shiny, because it's a newer instrument, right? Yeah, it is really shiny. You have valves like a trumpet instead of a slide like the trombone. That's probably a good thing, huh? Because I bet if the tuba had a slide, it would reach all the way out the door. It sure would. How much tubing makes up a tuba? Oh, I'd say about 28 feet, give or take. 28 feet of tubing all wrapped up makes a tuba? It sure does. Wow! That's as long as a school bus! That's why it's called a tuba! Because it has so much tubing! <laughs> Get it, tubing? Yeah! How do you make a sound on a tuba? Well, it starts with the mouthpiece right here. I take a big breath, and then my lips vibrate inside the cup. <laughs> That's a funny sound! So you're just buzzing your lips inside that big mouthpiece cup? Exactly! Will you please show us what it sounds like when the mouthpiece is on the tuba? So, I'm going to buzz a note. And then play it. That's awesome! It sounds much better with the mouthpiece on. It sure does. Do the valves on a tuba work the same way as the valves on a trumpet? They sure do. If I press the valves down, as I play, it lowers and lengthens the tubing of the instrument a little bit. Will you please show us? Sure! So what are you doing with your left hand there? It looks like you're pulling a slide in and out. Yeah, so uh, just like on a trumpet, they adjust their left hand for for pitches, so I'm doing the same thing. So if I want to make my note more in tune, I just adjust the slide a little bit. Oh, so you use the valves to change the notes, and you use the slide to tune the notes so they're more in tune. Exactly. Is the tuba the lowest of all the brass instruments? Yes, it is. How low can it go? Well, let's see. Let me to keep going? Yeah! Okay. <laughs> wow, that might be lower than my contrabassoon. Since it's a bass instrument, does the tuba read music in the bass clef? Yes. Joe, would you please play something for us? Sure. I'm going to be playing a little bit of When the Saints Go Marching In. It was originally a spiritual, and this hymn became popular in the early 1900s in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. 
do you clean a tuba? With a tuba toothpaste! <laughs> what other techniques can you do on a tuba? I'm going to demonstrate what's called multiphonics, where you can sing a note and play a note at the same time. Singing into the tuba and buzzing the mouthpiece at the same time? That's right. Joe, will you please show my friend Carl here some multiphonics? You got it, puppy. That sounded a lot like my first instrument, the didgeridoo. Can you mute a tuba like you can mute a trumpet? Oh no, not again. Oh, don't mind him. Carl had a little bit of a run-in with a trumpet recently, but I'm sure the tuba's perfectly safe. The tuba mute is rather large and it's not called for very much, so no need to worry. Phew. Does the tuba ever get heavy? Well, it can, but we can just put it down and rest it on the floor. Show him, Joe. Nice, and it just stands up on its own. Cool. Hey, Joe, can we play our duet for Vincent? Sure. Well, let me play a few notes first. Bumpy, where's Carl? I don't know. He was just here. Sorry, buddy, but you gotta be careful when there's a tuba around. Puppy, we are so trying that later. But for now, let's hear that tuba duet. Great job, Pumpy. That was so totally groovy. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing with us today, Joe. You're welcome, Vincent, and thank you for having me here. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Meet the Instruments. Join us next time when we will be meeting a member of the String family, the very vivacious violin. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. The tuba is the best instrument in the orchestra because there's only one.